In this video, we want to take a look at editing blocks that we've added to a drawing. And we do that by editing the block reference. So we're not actually editing the definition of the block itself, uh, just the way that that block is inserted via a block reference. So I've got two blocks here, the scale bar and the north arrow. And let's come up here and uh, pick on the north arrow just for a little bit. So if I put the cursor over the north arrow, Traverse BC tells me in the tooltip that it's a block reference. So I can right click, go to properties, and I'm going to get the properties of the block reference here. So here's the file name. It's a DXF file. Here's the block name. And then I want to focus in on these options down below here today. So this particular block, the north arrow, is defined by its height. It's not scaled by the drawing units in the scale of the drawing. It simply says I want it to be 1.1 inches high. Well, I could come in and say I want that to be an inch and a half high. And as soon as I choose OK, it just got bigger. So blocks can be a specific height in Traverse PC. Let's come in also now and say, I want to change the color of this. So the color is defined in the block as black. But if I want to change it to a color of, of red, I can say simply color all. That means apply this color to all the entities in that block. And I'll have a red block. Let's uh, do another change here. I don't know that we're going to see much difference with this. But sometimes we get a block that um, Maybe Traverse PC doesn't do a good job of rendering, or maybe at this scale it gets a little hard to see some of the detail because of the line widths. And for any number of reasons, I might want to simply say, I want to draw that block with the narrowest line possible, and that's a zero width line. So if I set this, all the objects, entities in that block are going to be redrawn with a zero width. Now, I'm going to come in and rotate my drawing here. Maybe. Uh, I feel like it's going to fit better on the page if I do this. Okay, so I've rotated it. Uh, the block, the north arrow in this case, is still pointing north, and I want it to reflect that rotation. Well, it didn't rotate with the drawing because it's a paper space object. So it's not tied to the scale or orientation of the drawing. But in this case, I want it to be. So watch what I do. I'm going to come in, right click, properties. And I'm simply going to say, apply the user rotation. So whatever rotation you applied to the drawing, apply to the block as well. And now I have the rotation um, uh, matched in the north arrow here. So just kind of a neat little way for you to um, have that north arrow track with your drawing rotation. Now, you're going to see other things in here as far as changing the layer that the block is on, having a block be tied to the scale and drawing units. Uh, this is a setting for one by one blocks down here. It's an AutoCAD convention. And you're going to find all of those edit options here in the block reference dialog.